You know what the, the biggest thing about money with girls is? Because people have this, this idea that money is going to help you get girls. Let me explain how money and girls works. Tell us. I'll tell you. And I'll let you know if you're right. I'm right, baby. Let's go. Women love spontaneity. That's the first thing. Money facilitates. Women love fun. Money facilitates. Women love a man who's respected. Money facilitates. So money can help with certain of the things that women find attractive. It's very rare, unless she's a hooker or a gold digger, that women are very, very interested in the actual number of how much money you have or spend. Mm. But what women don't want is you lacking the ability to be, spontaneous, to be spontaneous or lacking the ability to be respected because you're broke or to feel like she has FOMO, she's missing out on doing certain things. She can't go certain places that her friends go because you're broke. She doesn't want that, right? So it's not the money in and of itself that attracts her. It's the certain options that it gives you as a man that she can find more attractive. I think that's the, the biggest thing about it. But here's the thing about money most people don't understand is that for the most beautiful women on earth, the reason they don't really respect your money is everybody, they, every guy they talk to has money. Mm. You're never gonna go on a, a, bro, a, a date with a broke dude. So every single place you go, you don't pay. So do you actually care how much money that guy really has or how much the dinner really was? Not really, it was just dinner. So the point is that money is not enough to, to get a beautiful woman. It's enough to qualify you to try. Mm. Cause she ain't gonna go with a broke dude. And she's gonna go with one of 10 dudes she can go with, and they all have enough money. Maybe more, one is more, one is less, but they all have enough money to give her the basic thing she wants, bit dinner, bit fun, holiday, blah, blah, blah. So it just qualifies you to try. So if money is all you have and you have absolutely no other qualities, you're gonna lose to the dude who has money and, and the other stuff. That's the game. Money is like having arms. Mm. Like a, a chick, a chick's not gonna get with you just for having big arms. But if she can get with a dude, she probably wants her dude to have some arms. Mm. It's one of them, it's like, I'm gonna get with you just for money, but I don't wanna get with a broke guy. So like women don't really think about money that way. They're just like, well, every guy I go on a date with is rich. Right. And men lie, especially rich men. And there's a man with a million, he'll say he has 10. Girl doesn't mm. know. You know what I mean? Like it's very rare you get someone like me with so much quantifiable wealth. <laughs> but, but like I have a fucking $6 million car, Bugatti, all this kind of thing. So with me, it's hard to lie, right? But there's a whole bunch of guys out here who can catch a 400 grand pump. I think can convince a girl he's a multimillionaire for years. I can't confirm there's a caterer in the kitchen. Yeah, I got that, a caterer. That blew my mind. Why? I, I, eat. I walked into the, I walked in to go to the bathroom and then there's this guy just cooking and all this beautiful fruit and of course I've got to eat I see it this is what I told you I'm a man of God I don't have a woman in my life I've got to eat I hire a, a catering company but um no but the, the point I'm making is that these dudes think if I get money I'll get a chick no you won't because you'll get money and then the chick you're after is still going to be dating athletes superstars all these dudes they have money too bro you, you think your bored ape is going to impress her there's a term which is um you can do anything to a woman, but you can't bore her. That's absolutely true. So funny. No, but it's true. And and to get a little bit dark, it's true. I knew a girl in Luton who was in an abusive relationship, right? Her man was always hitting her, screaming at her. She was always crying, I want to leave him, blah, 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 blah. Problem was when she finally left him, in fact, he got banged up for drugs. So when he went okay. to jail, she got some other guy, a nice guy, and she was a complete prick to this dude. And she was so unhappy. And the problem was, it's very, very hard to be interesting. When your ex is a psycho, the new guy's boring. <laughs> it's true. I can see in her eyes. I'd say, you're, you're going home and you're, you're turning up two hours late and he ain't even screaming and you're bored, aren't you? Well, no, no, no. I was like, you missed the days of the fucking flying plates and shit. Cause it's, cause it's card. Women are addicted to drama. You watch TV shows. Women watch serial killers documentaries to relax. Like this is the reality of females. You want drama, you want excitement. It's not a bad thing. You watch the Kardashians, you don't want it smooth. The point I'm making is that you're right. Sometimes women are attracted to very, very toxic men because toxic men are not boring. Mm. You're, you're, they're never, you're never bored with a nutcase. And, and, and then after a, after a crazy guy, you try and get with a normal guy and you, you end up being very, very bored. So you're right, you can do anything to a woman except bore her. A lot of these dudes are out here treating women like complete shit, but she's staying because she's not bored. And, and it's boring everywhere else in comparison. Girls just wanna have fun, Cindy Law. 